How will a transatlantic free trade agreement affect various sectors and branches of industry in Germany? No matter what branch you are working in, a transatlantic free trade agreement would change many things. In our last Get Short, we showed that along with reduced tariffs, the abolishment of harmonization of standards and regulations, the so-called non-tariff trade barriers, would have enormous effects on growth and employment in the US and the EU. So these non-tariff trade barriers, which exist in almost every branch of industry, are especially important. In this area, companies are faced with a wide variety of obstacles. These range from bans on imports, for example, in the case of fresh food, to various safety and quality requirements, to lack of equal access to public tenders. Care for a specific example? At the present time, in the case of automobile exports, manufacturers must make adjustments in brakes, steering, safety belts and lighting, in addition to undergoing double safety inspections in order to meet the standards of the respective other country. For example, European manufacturers have to provide for extra padding on the underside of the roof because the majority of people in America are on the road without their seat belts fastened. Likewise, there are different requirements for the curvature of exterior mirrors because curved mirrors are not a problem in America whereas they are forbidden in Europe. And in Europe, foldable exterior mirrors are obligatory. There are even requirements in regard to the color of turn signals. While they have to be yellow in Europe, in America they can be red as well. Many obstacles to overcome in order to export a vehicle that complies with regulations. And of course this additional work also drives up the costs, which are then passed on to the consumers and can make the products up to 20% more expensive. If these barriers, standards and regulations could be harmonized or abolished, then some of the manufacturing costs of the products in question would go down by a significant amount. This in turn would result in lower prices, increased sales and more exports, and ultimately positive effects on growth and employment. And that would benefit the sectors in Germany that might not do any exporting themselves but that have close ties with export-oriented industries and companies in their capacity as suppliers or service providers. Thus, the economic dynamics of the manufacturing industry affects the entire economy of Germany, and hence, indirectly, the service sector as well, which is comparably impacted as a result. All right, so now let's take a closer look at how TTIP would affect the sectors of the manufacturing industry in Germany if we just consider at the resulting increasing trade between Germany and the US and ignore other effects such as trade diversion impacts within Europe. First, growth in trade will be seen in almost all branches of industry and will be particularly noticeable in the agriculture and forest industries, the food industries and metal production and processing, where growth in trade might exceed 50%. The textile sector is the only branch of industry in Germany that would experience a decline in trade up to 20% according to estimates because the US has competitive advantages in this area. Growth and trade, however, will have differing effects on actual net value added in the various branches of industry. So to what extent would net value added be increased and in what branches would the most jobs actually be created as a result of a free trade agreement? Here we now see a somewhat different picture. Most of the 160,000 newly created jobs in Germany would be in the electrical industry, in metal production and processing, and in vehicle and machinery construction. The level of exports is already very high in these sectors because of their strong competitiveness in the international arena. Net value added and employment are also correspondingly high in these industries in Germany. On top of that, in vehicle and machine construction in particular, interconnections and production are highly developed and supply chains are long. So this would prove advantages for suppliers as well and therefore also for smaller and middle-sized companies. This concludes our brief summary of the sector effects of a free trade agreement. If you're interested in how a free trade agreement 
would affect the German states, please have a look at our other Get Insights.